girls under 10 on the track now in lane one bendigo lane two derek lane three keylor lane four ringwood lane five q lane six oakley lane seven geelong and lane eight diamond valley so this will be a third of our what do we have 18 medley finals for this afternoon 16 16 medley finals for this afternoon number three can't get enough of medleys absolutely love them <laughs> the um mentioned this earlier in the day the orange number on the right hand side of the screen is the center number that each century is allocated so bendigo number two means they were the second center that existed in little athletics geelong number one was our original center in the whole of athletics in all of australia number eight diamond valley was the eighth center so it gives you a little bit of history we had Lake Bolak earlier today was number 160 from memory. So it's 160 of centre to associate with Little Athletics Victoria. So a bit of information there on the numbers that you might see on the start list and on the athlete singlets as well as they make their way around the track. And a couple of fun facts for this uh, final block of events as well. We've got most of our competitors' uh, teams coming from Geelong. We've got 13 Geelong teams across these medley finals over the 16 races. Keelor, we've got 10, and Berwick, we've got 11. So congratulations to those centres and those teams for fielding such a strong representation in this block of events. And they are underway. Oakley on the outside looks to have a strong start, as does Geelong in lane seven, making a clean baton change. So Geelong just changing the baton from left to right, <laughs> mid leg. Doesn't like the way that it feels in her hands, maybe getting a bit slippery or unconfident with the... As we see, Q makes a bit of a messy change. They come into their 200-meter leg there. Ringwood as well. Q on the inside of Oakley. And Oakley charging ahead of Don Valley. So we haven't seen too much of Oakley here at these championships. Smaller center who is making a bit of dominance in this race in the early stages. Geelong, Oakley in the purple. Q, Ringwood and Bendigo a little bit further back. So it will be a race of... Looks like Geelong and Q, who will have the fastest 400 meter runner. Will Oakley come out with a gun in the final stages? Don Valley make a change, Keylor make a change. Bendigo are there as well. Ringwood in the mix in that second pack, but it looks like it will be a race of Q and Geelong over this 400, although 400 whole meters, one whole lap of the track is quite a distance for these young under 10 girls. You mentioned Oakley just before, Michael. So just quickly, Oakley have got five teams competing this weekend. So this is one of the five. So yes, it has been rare to hear of them, but I'll let you finish with this coverage of this race now as we get to the final stages. Absolutely. Check out Ringwood though. Mm. We said who's going to have the best 400 meter runner. Q is still got a pretty good gap on them, but this little girl from Ringwood, she might be running the 400 meter finals at our state championships later on this year because, or should I say earlier next year, she is quite a quick runner, but Q, I would say they're going to hold off. Oakley has done so well to hold on to their position in the top three throughout this race. They were there early and they're still there in these later stages as the rain starts to drizzle over Casey Fields. So Knox, massive win by about 30 or 40 metres over the rest of the field in a solid time as well. Q, sorry, Q, <laughs> another K centre. Q, Ringwood. Oakley, Geelong, Diamond Valley, Keylor, Bendigo. And Berwick to round out the field there. There you go. Definitely was not Knox. They weren't even in that race. So Q were the winners there by a massive margin.